An ounce, a truth paradox, sorting fact from fiction in the age of information. I'm Jim Fugate, and it's my privilege to share an ounce with you. We live in an amazing time of electric cars, space travel for tourists, telephones in everyone's pocket with which we can instantaneously speak to someone on the other side of the world, satellite navigation that brings us within inches of any point on the globe, instant access to a volume of information even the Great Library of Alexandria would be envious of. Notice I said information. Didn't identify that information was factual or true. And yes, we're talking about the internet, the World Wide Web, the miraculous digital information superhighway. Let's take on one simple subject here, weight loss. Specifically, the intermittent fasting diet, for example. I really don't know if it's a good way to manage one's girth, but there are sources on the internet that know everything about it. How amazingly good it is. The most miraculous results that can be obtained. How healthy it will make you. How easily the pounds will disappear. How it will make you gain weight. How it could kill you. How it will damage your cellular structure and cause DNA damage which will follow your progenitors for generations. And every source is authoritative and true. Okay, how about this subject? Using money wisely. There are a plethora of trustworthy sources of information, like the ones that tell you to keep your money in a savings account, or perhaps under your mattress because the banks are going to fail. And you should also know that gold and silver are the best, except you can't eat them when everything is worth nothing. Unless you want to put your money in the stock market, or annuities, or mutual funds, or day trading, and you definitely never want to go in debt, except credit cards. They're an awesome way to get cash back on what you spent. And debt might be a great tax write-off. And art and classic cars are great investments every time. So yeah, use your money wisely. <laughs> on the internet, there are compelling articles about the reality of the flat earth. You will find convincing words about all manner of conspiracy theories. And some might be correct. If you search it out, you will find solid facts about Bigfoot, UFOs, or UAPs. And if we really landed on the moon, there are volumes, tens of millions of words of absolutely true and useful information on the internet from perpetual motion machines to relationship advice, medical diagnosis to how to rewire your house, or even time travel. So. Whether you are investing in a new cryptocurrency, looking for the reason you can't sleep, building a relationship, or finding that gadget that will increase your car's gas mileage, you've got the web for instant information on virtually anything. And the amazing thing about the digital world is that virtually all of it is accurate, useful, and true. Virtually, kind of an neat word, meaning Almost real, but not. Almost true, but not quite not untrue. Like virtually being there is like being there without being there. Like doing something, experiencing something, being something, but like not. You know what I mean, right? So here's the ounce. According to a reference I found on the internet, Mark Twain once wrote, the vast realm of information on the World Wide Web, fact and fiction doth dance together, much like a pair of mischievous pickpockets. And although he never said this, he is right. How can you know if something is factual? How can you know what is true and what is good? Well, sometimes you can't immediately. Really being sure, well, it often takes time. Unfortunately, on occasion, too much time. But in the meantime, one is not left with nothing to guide them. There is a little light, a whisper, a gut feeling that can help until time passes and we can know, gratefully, that sense, if not destroyed by doubt, fear, and anger, and self-loathing, is enough for simple truth. Ah, oh, come on, it can't be that simple. 
Simple yes. Easy. Sometimes. Accurate? It may be all you got. Thomas Sowell stated it this way. People who pride themselves on their complexity and deride others for being simplistic should realize that the truth is often not very complicated. What gets complex is evading the truth. And Charles Caleb Colton said simply, the greatest friend of truth is time. Her greatest enemy is prejudice. Her constant companion is humility. And that's it. An ounce submitted for your consideration. Thank you.